Hey guys, what's up? It's Sid and welcome back. Here's the thing. There's really nothing wrong with New Year's resolutions and kind of just finding inspiration to be a better version of yourself with the new year. But, um, <laughs> wait, where am I going with this? Since the new year is here, I thought it'd be perfect to make a video of me kind of just showing some things that I like to do when I want to reevaluate myself and my goals and my life path. Taking care of yourself and trying to like be the best version of yourself is a healthy thing and it's a great thing. Some of my favorite things to do are like a mood board. I like to kind of reevaluate my goals, what went right and wrong in the previous year. And I'm gonna just take you guys along with me for all of that. Also, self-care is a huge thing for me. I'm gonna start out the video by actually getting my nails done. There's really no reason for me to do this. Like, I feel like this is a stretch, like me starting the video with self-care by getting my nails done but I'm doing it anyways. Okay guys, my nails are done. They look so nice. I went for that like clean girl nail aesthetic, what Hailey Bieber basically invented, and I love it. Okay, and you are watching, bye. Like I'm obsessed with my nails, guys, they look so all right, the voice needs to stop. I am next going to do one of my favorite parts, my vision board. Vision boards, I think, are honestly one of the most effective ways to manifest and really like, bring your goals to fruition because if you see that every day when you wake up and kind of see like the future that you want for yourself, it's just a good cycle for your brain to be in. I have made several vision boards in the past and I do actually feel like they're very effective and they actually work for me. They're also really fun because they get you inspired and motivated for your future which is super important so obviously the first step is I'm going to go on my Pinterest Pinterest is so inspiring and motivating like if you don't have a Pinterest please make one immediately like exit out of this video stop what you're doing make a Pinterest and then come back so I'm gonna gather my pictures and get them ready to be printed These are just some of the pictures that I chose. Like I said, I had these all on my Pinterest board, so I just screenshotted them. I found some quotes, some random inspo pictures. By the way, follow me on Pinterest. Self promo, sorry. And I'm gonna go print them now. Let's go, because I don't own a printer for some reason, so I just go to FedEx. Okay, 20 minutes later and I have all of the photos printed. Also for the board itself, I went to Michael's a couple days ago and I decided to get a cork board. I thought it would be easiest. And then I got some push pins so I can just cut out the pictures and kind of just collage it in. I don't know what it is about mood boards, but they're so much fun. They get me so inspired. Every time I make one of these, I will stare at it for a good, three months, like every morning, I'm just obsessed with it. They make me so happy and they're so fun to make. I know a lot of people make vision boards on their phones and then they'll put them as like their wallpaper or something. I like that idea, but I'm definitely someone who I need to see it like in person or at least I just prefer it that way. And then it's also kind of doubles as room decor. Guys, my vision board is done. This is what it looks like. I tried to put pictures of just things I like and things that I want my future to look like. Graduating, I mean, in May, if all goes according to plan. Um, I put some cute quotes that I really like and I think are good for me to see every day. Some fashion inspo. I might move. I wanna get into piano again, so I put that there. I wanna travel. But yeah, I love it. This is literally my Pinterest in real life. And I'm gonna set it on my desk right now. One of the biggest steps, in my opinion, for kind of just decluttering your mind is decluttering your space. 
wow that was like really poetic that i just said that and i'm not talking clean because cleaning and decluttering are two very different things there's a couple times a year when i need to kind of go through my makeup and like my books and my desk area just to get everything cleared out and kind of get rid of old things that i'm not using anymore i have random products in my bathroom that i don't use like some of this makeup i don't really use and then I want to go through my skincare as well. Kind of clean out my medicine cabinet. progress guys so over here i have my skincare stuff as you can see i wiped it down and i got rid of quite a few products that i just don't use and then in here this is my medicine cabinet i have some extra skincare stuff that i do want to keep using but i just didn't have space for it and then up here i have more of my medicines and then down here for my makeup like i said these are just like extra makeup products that i have i really did consolidate this which is nice and then i just have my spoolies back here that i use for my eyebrows I have a spare makeup bag and that's basically that now it's time for my books I've definitely read quite a few of these so I wanted to just kind of go through this see if there's anything that I can get rid of I'll show you guys what it looks like right now I don't really have honestly that many books but I do feel like it'd be nice to go through I don't know if it's just me, but I think this looks so much better. I ended up getting rid of a few books, so I have extra room now on here, which is really nice. I have way more room for my jewelry now, and I also just decided to use this vase as kind of like a bookend. I actually got this really cute teacup at this antique store near me like a year ago, and I've just been using it for my jewelry ever since. It's just so perfect. I love this so much better. I have way more space now. These are a few of the books that I'm getting rid of, and there's actually a little donation bookshelf near me down my street so i think i'm gonna go drop those off because i've never like donated or like taken anything from there before i've wanted to and i like always stop there but i never like have my books like ready to give it's raining okay so this is the box i was talking about okay i'm gonna give my books and then i'm gonna see if there's anything that looks good to me oh wait this is super cool wait okay yeah this is good okay got the book Yay, I feel like those little book things are so cute and it's something that I always drive by, but I never actually, like I said, have donated or taken a book, so I'm excited. So the last step, probably the most important for reshaping your mindset and your goals is actually writing out your goals. And I actually already wrote them out on this piece of paper and I wanted to kind of just talk with you guys about them as I do my skincare for the night. I'm gonna be using a face mask that I found while I was cleaning my bathroom today, actually. They say that writing out your goals and even like verbalizing them just like to yourself is really important in terms of actually achieving your goals. So definitely write them out even if you have some in your head. I have about 10. So my first one is reading a book a month. I used to read a lot. I used to be super good with it. I was actually in a book club, which is a touchy subject. I really want to get into it and read one book a month, which I feel like is honestly not that hard at all. Next, I want to learn one piano song a month. They say with goals, you know, you're supposed to be specific. I used to play it when I was younger and it just makes me sad that I don't know how to play it anymore. The next goal I have is to travel. I'm really fortunate enough to be able to travel and when I graduate, I really want to go to Europe over the summer. I have a few places in mind. I want to try to start doing either like a hot girl walk, just walking, or yoga three times a week. I feel like these are things that are just good for my body to keep myself moving and not stagnant. The next goal that I have listed is to graduate. Um, that one's pretty, you know, <laughs> inferred at this point. 
let's hope that happens. I mean, if all goes according to plan, I should in May. So this next one is really, really important for me because this totally changes the trajectory of my day. And it's not using my phone for the first 30 minutes when I wake up in the morning. I remember someone telling me that if you go on your phone right when you wake up, it automatically puts your mindset into a reactive mode for the rest of the day instead of a proactive mode. And I remember hearing that and I like completely resonate because I really do feel like it completely changes the direction of like my mindset for the day. I also put on here that I want to advance my real estate investing. And then the last one I have is to see my family one time every two months. Well, now that my face is on fire, I don't wanna go her good. It also hurts, so that cannot be good. But anyways, those are my goals. Um, I'll be back. I'm telling you right now, this is not good. My face feels like it's currently getting third degree burn as we speak. I'm scared to like see what's underneath this, guys. Ow. Holy, oh my God. It, it literally looks like I got sunburned. Dude. It's been like 15 minutes and my face is still on fire. I have the most sensitive skin. Like I've said this in videos, but I feel like maybe like people don't realize like I, I'm not lying. Um, I hope you guys <laughs> liked the video anyways. Even though it ended poorly, you know, um, it was still fun. Getting motivated for things is just always nice and you can always reinvent yourself. You can always become a better version of yourself if you want to. You never have to remain the same. I hope you got inspired by this a little bit. My next goal is to work on my skincare because this is not happening for me. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye guys.